Hi, and thanks for joining us in the training centre. Today I'm joined by Inna Goosens, one of our colour specialists, and Inna is going to be helping me out using the latest technology, Genius IQ2, to measure the colour on this Ford bumper that I'll repair for you using standard blue base coat. Thank you, Tony. I'll show you the fastest and most reliable way to find the correct colour formula. This device is not only measuring colour, but also flake size. This digital process is saving you the need of making a spray out card or using the colour box. I'd like to keep this repair as small as possible, but inevitably I'm going to get a bit of overspray drifting towards the wing. So would it make sense to measure the colour here? It's always the best to measure as close as possible to the damaged area. We see already a difference between the wing and the bumper, so it's certainly a good idea to measure the wing. The key for a good measurement is a nice clean polished surface. We must remove any oxidation. The device is a very precise instrument and any scratches or dirt will have an influence on the result. If you have deep scratches, you can always sand with P3000 and do the polishing step afterwards. To be sure you get rid of the polish residue, you must clean after polishing. Doing the measurement is very easy. The only thing I have to do is click on the measurement button. First we have the color measurement, after that the effect measurement. Between the three steps I have to lift and move very slightly. You get a confirmation that the measurement was ok with the green light. Now I'm going to enter manufacturer and paint code. That information will be sent automatically to the software. And that's it, as easy as that. That's all. Great, okay. If you'd like to make the paint, I'll prepare the car ready for base coat. Please use the standard adjustment as it's only a small area. Now let's go to the color software. The measurement can be sent to the software via Wi-Fi or by connecting the device with the PC. I'll go to measurement. Here you see the measurement of the car. I'll click on it. In the search field, car make and color code are already filled in. I only have to click on the search button. The software is searching for the best formula and it's even making a correction to get the formula closer to the color of the car when needed. The three best formulas are shown. For each formula, we have an indication for the color result and the effect value. Both are green, which means that the formulas are ok for color and effect. When you want to have already an idea about the final result, you can go to the visual results screen. This is the picture of the color on the car. The other picture is showing the shaded formula. I'll take the first green green result. I go to the formula screen and I will weigh ready for use as Tony asked. Hi, you know, everything ready? Yeah, ready for use, as you asked. Thank you very much. Okay, as you will see, I have the two pots. Now, as I've done on a number of occasions on our channel, I've already shown you the blending process, but just as a quick reminder, I'll spray some blender out here, make my widest area first, then work back inside. The gun I'm using today is a 1.2, as I've done previously. So, time to get the job painted, and I'll see you in a short while.
Ah, uh, well, let's see. Looks already promising. For me, it's looking good. Yeah, for me as well. Very quick, very easy. But you know the best thing? I'm not having to waste any time making a spray out card up front and I'm not uh, occupying the spray booth unnecessarily. Yeah, with a good preparation, it's a very reliable system. It's a digital tool. And the perception of what the painter sees in the color chip or in the spray out doesn't make any difference in choosing the right color. Well, it works for me. Thanks for your help. Now let's have a recap. Measure the color next to the damaged area. Cleaning and polishing of the measurement area is essential and it's where we see the biggest mistakes. So make sure you do it right. Enter color code and car make in the search field and take the first green green result. And don't forget that despite a good measurement process, you still need to apply correctly to achieve the right result. As you have seen, digital color is not only future, it's reality. And there is more to come. Keep on following us.